In this video, I'm gonna show you editing MIDI drum velocity in Reaper. So I have a project in front of me here with some drums and a piano, and I'm not happy with the velocity of the drums. Now I could change that with volume adjustments, but doing it with velocity makes more sense. As most drum software uses multi samples for each drum that are triggered based on the velocity they're hit with. So using velocity to adjust it makes more sense to keep each hit more dynamic and more natural sounding. So let's hear what it sounds like now. So in part one of this video, I showed you how we could adjust velocity using the MIDI editor and event properties. By dividing our velocities and bringing up the result, we can basically compress the output so that the quiet notes are a bit louder and the loud notes are a bit quieter, basically reducing their dynamic range. But we could also do this with MIDI plugins, which is what we're gonna do in this video instead. So let's choose the drum MIDI item and hit Shift E. And that opens up the effects we could add to this MIDI item. We'll search in the filter velocity and let's choose MIDI velocity scalar compressor. Double click it. Now this effect is on this item. So we can adjust our scale by a percentage. So if I bring it down to 0.5, it's 50%. We could bring up the volume of the makeup gain with the volume offset. Let's hear it. Now, while I think that sounds better, it still doesn't give us as much control, as we're still adjusting the compression of our velocities on all the drums at the same time. We'll have much more control if we separate each drum and process them with their own separate settings, like this. Let's keep it where we have it right now. Let's select this item, go to our actions, show action list, and type in explode. There's an option right here to explode MIDI note rows based on pitch. So it's gonna create a different MIDI item for each note in a drum part or each drum. Double click it and it muted the first item with all the drums, but it created new items based on each drum note. We have our kick, our snare, and one for each drum. So now we could add the same effect to each to control the velocities, but adjust them differently. So let's drag this effect to each one of the drum tracks. Just drag it and drop it on our kick, on each of our snares, the hi-hat, the ride, and our crash. So now it should sound the same, so how we set it up before over here. And now we can change it for each individual drum. Here's our kick. And our snare. And our ride. So just like before, we have more control over each drum note, although with this method, we can't really see the results. We're just hearing it after the plugin. 
But if we do want to see the results and edit them directly in the media editor, we can just apply the effect to the items as a new take. So we could just right click, drag to select all these items, then right click, go to apply, track, take effects to new items as new take with the MIDI output. And that creates a new take for each one, applying the velocity we used in the plugin. Then we could right click again if we want, go to take and choose crop to active take which deletes the other one and just keeps the new one with the changes we just made. And then we could leave it separate like this. We'll put it all back together if we want. Just delete this one and drag these over to here and glue all these items into one. Glue items. And we could delete these tracks and we're back to just one item for all the drums. But now, all those changes we made show up in the MIDI editor. So these velocities down here are all based on the adjustments we made in the plugin. So it should sound exactly the same, and we can still re-edit it in here. So we can edit our velocities directly in the MIDI editor or use the plugins and apply them later so you can edit them again. So that's pretty much it. That's editing MIDI drum velocity in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.